Hi everyone. This is what happened to me when I got Government Housing Part 97. And I made this video, um, I know it's a short video, but I wanted to make sure that I put something up so everyone can follow along with my story. And I'll probably make another video tomorrow. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I'm not feeling well at the moment, so I wasn't able to make a, a longer video. So, you know, if anyone's, <clears throat> I'm just following along, you know, until we get to the end. But if anyone's got any questions about, um, you know, uh, where we are and all the rest of it at this point in time, you can put the question in the comments underneath the video. Um, so I'm just trying to focus on my recovery so I can, you know, start doing the longer videos again. Um, it's spring in Australia. I don't know if that's affected me, you know, or some other things. Um, and I know some of you are from all over the world, so, you know, you can let me know how it's going over there, but it is like... It's, it's spring in Australia. It was really sunny and really nice. And then it actually became really cold. Um, so that's strange. And that always, you know, plays havoc with your body. But I'll get on with um, today's video. <clears throat> so on the 23rd of the 3rd, 2018, I received an email from the housing office saying someone would attend about my fence. So I replied saying that I would leave the side gate open just to make sure that they could enter into my backyard. On the 26th of the 3rd, 2018, I got home, <clears throat> excuse me, from being out and I saw that someone had attended my unit and they put a piece of wood up against the fence, presumably to hold it up, but it just made it more dangerous. And it meant that we couldn't use the backyard because I was scared that the fence would fall down and injure us. And you can see in this photo that there was a big piece of wood. So it was taking up a lot of space in my yard. So once again, I was being treated like I wasn't really a paying tenant. Like I was just, you know, someone camping in the unit and it didn't really matter what sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, circumstances I lived in. I mean, a large piece of wood like that um, is pretty dangerous and um, it's pretty scary to stand next to, let alone, you know, it's not something that I could deal with with my bare hands because I'm actually, um, I'm not tall. I'm only around five foot three. Um, I wouldn't have moved it if I could, but I'm just saying theoretically, you know, if, if anything had happened and it had slipped towards me there is no way that I could have controlled what happened or protected myself you know and who wants to be kneecapped by a stray giant piece of wood that just happens to be put in your backyard it was just so weird I mean everything that I saw was weird you know the the responses that I got from basically everything was so left of center and so random and so abstract and so weird and you know <clears throat> comical in a way but you know you can't really say that something like that is comical when you're dealing with danger you know and the risk of injury um then on the 27th of the 3rd 2018 i emailed the housing office saying that the fence hadn't been repaired and I asked to be notified when it would be repaired. And I went on to a food bank to get some food. And when I was walking down the street, the respondent came out of nowhere and was following me down the footpath on a push bike. Um, but I was able to get away from him by running in the opposite direction. And I didn't see him after that, which was good. But it never ceases to amaze me <clears throat> that I never knew, <clears throat> excuse me, I never knew where he was when he was following me. And I never found out how he knew where I was 
when I was walking from one place to another. So that was really weird. So I was like, you know, in one sense, I couldn't see him, which was good. But then on the other hand, I had to say to myself, well, just because I can't see him doesn't mean that he's not actually there because I, I really never did see him. He just like literally came out of nowhere. Like I'd be walking around minding my own business and then he would just appear and I, I could never work out how he was able to do that. Then on the 28th of the 3rd, 2018, I went to Officeworks and I printed out a copy of the Residential Tenancies Act and I had it bound and I got a back cover and a front cover and I printed out some other forms that I needed for my VCAT applications. All of the printing that I did cost me over $40. And I needed that money for food and washing the clothes and for everything else. But because all these things had happened to me and because I had to represent myself, I had no choice but to pay the administration costs involved in going to VCAT. 